everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the Sew Down. This is our monthly roundup of stuff that we've seen, read, listened to and sewn in and around the world of sewing that we thought you guys might find interesting. I know a lot of us are all spending more time at home, so I think this we've got some good stuff in here for you to keep you entertained. So, I will get cracking. I always start by talking about a couple of designers that you may not have come across. Um, and then I'll move into things that, stuff to read, stuff to listen to, things that are happening, that sort of thing. So, first things first, um, designers. So we've got two new designers on the site this month who are fantastic. The first one is Vicky Sews. So for those of you who haven't come across them before, they're actually a Russian pattern company and they have a, a, like a vast amount of patterns. Really beautiful, very on trend, um, gorgeous, gorgeous patterns and they've just started translating them into English and they've launched their first 20, which we've got on the site. So the cool thing about them that a lot of patterns don't do is that they go up, um, the, they have different height, it's graded in different heights. So as well as having different size ranges, you can also pick your height. So I know a lot of people have issues if you're particularly small or particularly tall, um, it's really hard because you have to make a lot of adjustments to patterns, you know, changing where the bust is and changing the waistline and that sort of thing. Whereas this does it all for you. So, um, in terms of the sort of size range, they do sizes 8 to 20 in most of their patterns. Some of their patterns are still expanding size ranges. Um, but the height options that are available um, you can do height one, which is five foot one to five foot three, height two, which is five foot four to five foot six, height three, which is five foot seven to five foot nine, and height four, which is five foot 10 to six foot. So yeah, they're really fantastic. And it's really great because we just haven't had anything like this at grade for height. So if you are, they're definitely worth having a look at. The next pattern design that we've got is called Pattern Cutting Decon Deconstructed. Um, they're really interesting if you haven't come across them before, relatively new to the market. Um, as well as selling PDF patterns, I think their kind of USP is they've got these pattern and um, pattern cutting kits. So you get a basic block and within the pattern they teach you how to draft um, the block to fit you. So if you are interested in pattern cutting, as well as um, sewing, this might be a really interesting thing to have a look at. So there are, they do have PDFs which are just, you know, print, but they have these kits as well. So they come with different options that you can change your own and they teach you how to draft different sleeves and things. So they're quite interesting and definitely worth having a look at. So stuff um, that's happening. First things, just in case you hadn't seen it, um, the Sewing Weekender um, 2021, just checking we were in the right year, is back this year if you haven't seen, um, it's going to be online again, it's the 13th, 12th and 13th of June, sorry. I will pop a link to everything, I should say, down below so you can go and have a look. So this is um, online over the weekend. If you can't do that weekend and you still wanted to come, don't worry about it, you can buy a ticket and all the content will be available afterwards so you can watch it kind of at your leisure. The tickets are £17 and we send out an email on the Friday, on the Saturday morning and Sunday morning with all the content for that day. So there's probably about four to five hours content each day. Um, and the idea is that you sit at home, do a sewing project and listen to all these amazing talks while you sew. And there are some great tutorials, amazing stuff in there. So if you are interested, go and have a look and we'll pop a link. Um, we are supporting three charities a year. So the Black Curriculum, Refuge and Fine Cell Work, um, which are charities that we are really important to us. So yeah, go and have a look. And if you want to come along, come along. Talking of Fine Cell Work, you're kind of moving on. They are um, a charity that help people who are in prison get back into work and they train them to sew so teach them how to sew while they're in prison and they can make products which then get sold and earn some money so it's a really nice way of getting people back into it but they're actually crowdfunding at the moment for a book that they want to release um, 
it's kind of a limited edition book and it's called Thread of Time, 25 Years of Fine Cell Work. And it's a partnership between the Writers Association and Fine Cell Work. And um, they want to have the book kind of, sorry, I'm just looking at my laptop. So um, it tells the stories behind the charity's most significant work, such as a quilt depicting the life of H&P Wandsworth, designed and created by inmates of the prison. So there's some really amazing things and um, they are, if you are interested and you think it sounds great, if you, I'll pop a link so you can go and have a look. And um, they're crowdfunding so you can actually kind of almost like pre-order the book ahead of time. Um, I think it will be a really nice book because everything they do is really beautiful so definitely worth going and looking at. Um, stuff that's on um, the Fashion and Textile Museum, if you are travelling around a bit more now, things are opening back up. There's a chintz exhibition at the Fashion and Textiles Museum called Cotton in Bloom and it's on from the 18th of May to the 12th of September, which is my birthday. Um, and it looks really fantastic. I, I'm a big fan of chintz so, and their exhibition is always wonderful. So if you're thinking about coming to London over the summer at any point, um, this is definitely worth going and checking out. I pop this in, this has ended this exhibition, but it is so wonderful. I just wanted to share it with you if in case you hadn't seen it. So Lucy Sparrow, who is a textile artist, created the most incredible work of art. I'm actually, I'll show you a picture so you can see. She, using felt, has created an entire chemist's worth of stuff. So she set it up in, um, oh, I can't remember which gallery it was. So she took over a whole gallery and basically kitted it out as if it were a chemist, but everything within it is made of felt. And it is amazing. And for us, as makers, we know how long stuff takes. So this was just pickled my mind. And everything, the kind of duplicates of everything to go on all the shelves, it was just, amazing. Um, sadly it's ended. I did try and get tickets because I really wanted to go and see it because it looked so amazing but they sold out instantly. It was almost impossible to get them um, but I just thought it was amazing and then I went on and looked at her website and she's done loads of other cool stuff so if you haven't come across her I just wanted to put prod you in her direction because what she's done is incredible. Um, this is just a little sort of <laughs> I guess like a public service <laughs> announcement um, Shelter, the charity um, that help homeless people in the UK, uh, have got this really great thing um, where you can donate your clothes and um, so it's clothes, jewellery or ornaments and collectibles for free. So I will pop a link down below and there's a um, page that you can go on and you can actually just print a label off and pop all your old clothes in a bag and send it off to them. So if you've got some stuff, I know a lot of us are especially with handmade wardrobes that you, especially if you've been making for a long time, ready to part with, this might be a nice way to do it. So it's there. Um, I just did it this week and got rid of some things that I haven't worn for a really long time and thought, well, they're going to a good home. So yeah, just, just, just in case. Um, stuff to read. I've got a couple of things um, if you haven't seen it, the Women's Prize for Fiction shortlist for 2021 is out now. I will pop a link down below. I know a lot of us are reading more or listening to audiobooks and there are, I've always loved seeing what they release each year because there's always something that becomes like the bestseller or, um, but everything in there is usually really interesting. So you, if you are looking for a book, I will you'll find something fantastic in here. So definitely go and have a look. There, there are some amazing, I've already got on my Audible wish list about <laughs> five things already. So have a look and you'll find something lovely to read for the summer. Another thing to read, which sort of leads on to watching, um, it's an article about um, Ewan McGregor learn, learned how to sew and drape to play um, his part in the Netflix show Halston. So if you haven't seen this, this is really, really fantastic. I would highly recommend it. I'm about three episodes in. It's very light-hearted, really fun. And if you haven't heard of Halston before, they were a quite iconic um, fashion brand in the 70s. They produced a lot of um, 
shirt dresses. I think the thing that they were most famous for was fabrication. They created a fake suede, which I remember at university because I did fashion at university reading about and it just like revolutionized that industry at the time because it was really fashionable to wear, it was really expensive and most people couldn't afford it. So this sort of kind of fake suede um, meant that it was accessible to everyone. Um, it is really wonderful. He's very, he's really good in it. He's, yeah, very charismatic and yeah, it's wonderful. So go and have a read of that because the article is really lovely and then go onto Netflix. I'll pop a link to both so you can go and watch it because it's definitely worth a watch. Talking of Netflix, um, I've got something that isn't out yet, but I saw the trailer for it on Netflix and I just thought I'd kind of tell you about it because I think it's something that we'd all find really interesting. It's called Worn Stories. Um, and this is a, a whole series about items of clothing in people's wardrobes and how, what they meant to them at their, the time. It's kind of, it's really lovely. for. I know that I spoke ages ago about um, a podcast, Modern Love. It's a little bit like, it feels a bit like that, but for um, clothes. So you're, they're telling the story of the item of clothing. It just looks really lovely. I think it will be a really nice series. I could be a mini series. Um, I've moved from reading into watching, and I'm just gonna go back to reading because I've got something. <laughs> um, for those of you who haven't seen, um, Chanelo Baby Bailey has released a new book. Um, the publishers sent it to us and I thought it was worth mentioning on here. Um, this book, if you haven't come, uh, she's written another book and it's slightly different in terms of sewing books. Let me show you because it is about freehand cutting. So this is where you don't use a pattern, you actually mark your measurements straight onto your fabric and cut it out from there. It's quite sounds like it's quite complicated but I think it's more easy than it sounds so it gives you loads of um, information on how to kind of mesh yourself and all of that and then it goes into projects so everything from let me just find one um, sorry should have it so this is one of the signature collared top like so, and then it goes on to show you how to make it using this freehand technique, so marking onto the fabric directly. Um, if it's that much, it's something that is, I think, really interesting, quite marmite. I know some people aren't really interested in pattern cutting themselves from scratch, but if you are, this is definitely worth having a look at. So yeah, definitely worth it. Um, right, I've got three things to listen to. So the first be, um, podcast is Life Changing with Jane Garvey. Um, Rachel, this is from Rachel. She is like Jane Garvey's number one fan. Um, I actually, she sent it to me and I've started listening to one of them already and it's fantastic. I can see why she recommended it. It's called Life Changing and it she talks to people who live through extraordinary events and discovers how these moments have reshaped their lives in the most unpredictable way. It's just like really fascinating stories. There are there are, only, there are a few of there are about five of them. And I started listening to the Coleman who could have been a prince and it's about a guy who finds out that his father was um let me have a look. Where was he? He was like the prince of, the sultan of Perak, and um, it's just it. The stories are so extraordinary and so well done. It's really lovely. So if you're looking for something really nice to listen to, I would highly recommend it. Each episode's about half an hour long, so not a huge amount of commitment in terms of time. Next up, sorry, murder as usual. I can't resist. Um, this is Letters from a Killer. I'm really enjoying this. It's really fascinating and it's looking at it from a completely different angle. So um, it's a kind of, how do I describe it? Let me see what they've written. Hosted by documentary maker Zoe and Ned, reveals the intimate letters as they're received 
from convicted murderers facing life in prison or the death penalty. So they write into them and talk about what they did and they then sort of dissect the letter. It's really interesting and it's a very interesting sort of angle on it. And I've listened to two of them and they're really good. I've got, oh, so I'm about to go and kind of binge through. There's only, I think there's about six or seven. Um, it's really worth listening to if you're interested in things like that. I found it fascinating. So last thing to listen to and a sewing one, um, it's the Asian Sewist Collective podcast, which launched um, a few weeks ago. And um, this is really great. I've listened to the, the kind of all of the ones that they've released so far. And it's a collective about people of Asian descent who sew and all the things that go around that. They cover kind of more tricky topics and it's really nice. So if you are looking for something sewing related, this is definitely worth going and having a listen to. So I hope that was useful and good and I've got given you some good stuff to watch and read and listen to. And we'll be back soon with another video. Bye.